Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15. Well, I'll be giving you three selections for tomorrow's race. And before we get into them, quickly just want to reflect on how our tips were formed today. In the end, we only had two selections run for us as my nap. Uh, the jet legs was the non-runner in the 140 air. So if you backed him, you should have got your money back there. But away from that, the other selections were slightly disappointing. Uh, Lightning Company could just never get involved in the race. He was very disappointing at red car. The other horse we put up, uh, Kate Moss, uh, she just was slow out of the gate. She ran on in the end to finish in fourth place, but was always up against it. And the winner got first run up against the rail. So, yeah, that was a little bit frustrating there, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But fingers crossed we can have a better day tomorrow. So let's get into it then. Three tips for tomorrow's horse racing action. And we're going to be going to Chepstow for their jumps card tomorrow, where we're going to be going with my next bet of the day here. It's a horse uh, running in the 310 called Kakarum. For uh, Joe Anderson, claim in seven. He's riding for Grace Harris here. Currently available at nine to one with Bet365. Uh, five places on offer at that price. I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection. Now, this horse, uh, Kakarorum, is actually quite a consistent animal. Um, last season, he was very consistent, making the frame on plenty of occasion. And I just thought there was a lot to like about his seasonal return at Warwick earlier this month. He ran well for a long way, uh, and he actually plugged on to take fourth place in the closing stages. He's running off a mark of 85 here, and if you go on some of his form last year, he was actually running in better races off a slightly higher rating. So I think off a mark of 85, that's definitely workable for him. Plus, Joe Anderson taking £7 off, which in essence means he's running off a mark of uh, 78. So I think he's definitely up to this, uh, this kind of grade. He's also as well, of course, in distance winner. He won't mind a little bit of ease in the ground. So lots to like about his chances tomorrow. Nice low race and weight. And I think if he runs his usual solid race, he'll be there or thereabouts. And I don't think he's not a bad price at 9-1. to one. So that's why he's going to be my next bet of the day. And then go to the long shot in the 320 uh, Catterick. I'm going to recommend a 0.5 win only bet here on a horse called Pause for Thought for Graham Lee and Donald McCain. Currently available at 11-1. to one. I'm going to recommend a 0.5. When only bet that was available with uh, William Hill at the time recording. And this horse paused for thought. I thought actually ran a good race last time out when um, this horse finished fifth at Musselboro. That was actually quite a deep race behind the likes of Autumn Festival, who was in good form at the time for David O'Meara. Guido as well was in that race. I think he finished third. He'd been uh, really good this season for Katie Scott. So there was a lot to like about that race last time out. And I think it showed that. Um, this horse was coming back into a little bit of form. Dropped actually two pounds now to a mark of 80. And I think that's workable in this kind of race. There's a few horses in here out of form. And if uh, you can get a good break tomorrow, this horse in the hands of Graham Lee, grab the the, um, the near side rail. Um, I think that could serve him in good stead because when the, the ground gets um, on the easy side of category, they always come up the stand side rail. So I think that's definitely a positive tomorrow. And yeah, if this horse can get a good break, I think 11 to 1 is a big price about this horse. And for me, should be round about maybe the 7, 8 to 1 kind of mark. So I think 11 to 1, you're not getting a bad price at all there. So that's why this horse is going to be my long shot of the day. We then go to the weather action at seven in the 7 o'clock. Uh, with my nap of the day, Michaela's boy here for Jason Hart and Mick Appleby. Currently available at 4 to 1 at the time of with Will Hill. I'm going to recommend a one-point win bet here. Now this horse, Michaela's boy, is quite an interesting horse actually. Started out life with Richard Hughes earlier in the season and showed some ability at times. Kind of lost his way and subsequently joined Mick Appleby. But I thought the latest run in an all-weather fast track qualifier over six furlongs was very good considering he had a mountain to uh, to climb on the ratings. He went off 125 to 1 for that, but he's pitched back into handicap company now. And I think off a mark of 78, this horse can be very competitive. Dropping back to five furlongs as well, which might not be a bad option. If he's ridden them prominently, he might just have too much speed for these horses. We know Mick Appleby as well. This is his time of year where he loves to target the all-weather. He's got a great record in the all-weather championships, and I'm sure that's going to be his target, to be the all-weather uh, champion trainer. So lots of like about this horse's of chances tomorrow. And Jason Hart as well as a jockey I really rate. So they're the selections then for tomorrow's racing. If you enjoy these videos, remember to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe here to the YouTube channel at Lucky Loaders 15. Please remember to gamble responsibly. I'll be seeing you again soon.